for the second time we are shooting. Hi. It's a new way of doing things, I think. So I think it's the new normal. New normal, correct. So let's start with your experience of the June cover story. How did it go? Itself. Uh, well, uh, well, can I? Can I be very honest? Um, it wasn't easy because I'm not uh, somebody who is a hair and makeup person, you know, or is very experimental. I'm very basic when it comes to my own sense of style. Um, uh, so, so it was quite a task, and I'm a horrible photographer. I think I always believe that my phone has the worst camera. Yeah. You know, all my friends know that. Um, so for me to do this shoot was was a little difficult, but uh, then I guess. You know, everyone's doing things that they haven't done yeah. before in quarantine. So it was it was uh, quite a lot of fun. Luckily, I had help at home. Yeah. I mean, one of my friends was staying with me. Um, so yeah. So did you take up some hobby in this time? I mean, a lot of people are taking hobbies. Uh, not not a hobby, but yes, I've been doing uh, a lot of reading, um, uh, a lot of you know watching shows. Of course, everyone's doing. I did some online courses. So I did about three, four courses. So I did a crash course on MBA, and then I did something to do with the investment banking, as in just like stock shares market. Um, that was a small crash course that I did. Then I did something called inner engineering, which is about you know um, harnessing your inner energy, and, yeah. and I'm spiritual, so um, I did one of that. Um, extended my yoga and meditations. So that was taking a lot of time, a lot of reading. Um, yeah, so I kept myself busy. I mean, I honestly did not feel even on a single day that oh my god, I what do I do? There was so much to do at all points. Like some days I felt I want to do this and that and that, but oh no, I decided to bake a cake, so I have to do that as well. So you know, I I just loaded myself with a lot of work, and I like to be busy. So I just pretended all of this quarantine that I was busy. <laughs> and uh, your fitness videos, of course, is very trending, and now you have a YouTube channel also. Any three tips you want to give? Very quick fitness tips to all the people who are watching. Um, well, I just say you know, uh, fitness is not something that you can achieve or you should target for a period. You know, make it a lifestyle. That would be my first tip. That fitness is a way of life. You know, uh, a way of a healthier life. Um, uh, and for motivation, ask yourself why you want to do it. Because I feel that you need to take care of the body that you've been blessed with. Uh, that's the only place you live in. Um, so uh, motivate yourself, uh, and it's never too late to start. You know, a lot of people say we've never done anything. Now our body won't be able to take it. But let me tell you, your body is smarter than you think it is, and uh, it can take a lot. All you need to do is push it. Let's push it. And if you're not inspired, guys, yeah. you have to check out the You'll be very, very inspired after seeing all our workout videos. I think right now everyone should be inspired because uh, health okay. is what we need. I mean, with COVID, everyone's talking about immunity. So, how did you keep your, you know, when the lockdown happened, a lot of people were like losing their sanity completely. You know, even going bonkers. So, who did you connect with most? And you know, initially, everybody was paranoid, you know, because there's no vaccine, there's no this. Forget the work, but you know, you're like. So, <laughs> How did you do connect with people or anything like that? Can I be honest? I didn't even feel. Uh, luckily, not a single day did I feel um, uh, stressed or paranoid or disturbed with the lockdown. Um, you know, we need to understand. Uh, I mean, like I just told you that I'm a little spiritual, and I've always believed that no matter what we do, we're negligible on the face of this planet. You know, we're just like a speck and. Whatever happens, this is happening for the entire world, not just you and me. Uh, we're all in this together, and we are not superior than nature, you know. So we can't fight that. Uh, all we need to do in times like this is, in fact, calm down, think, you know, what is right at this point for the society, for the environment. Uh, follow the rules that we have to, uh, because we're all in this fight together. It's new for everyone, so. There's no blame game that you play here. You know that the government's trying to do their best. People are trying to do their best. You don't blame the ones who are feeling distraught. But but I had at all points was extremely thankful uh, and grateful for what I have. You know I do understand that a lot of people were not as privileged. Um, uh, but uh, but every day I've just been more grateful. You know I moved my house on 5th of March uh, into a bigger house in Bombay, and since 15th I've been in lockdown. And this house had a huge, huge balcony. Okay, I, you've seen in the pictures oh, where I've shot and all of that. 
so i have just been so thankful that thank god it it panned out you know otherwise i would have not sustained and this this house has a help it has a room so a servant room and my earlier house it there was you know the like how people in bombay the help comes in the morning goes at uh-huh. night but these small small things that That's i had cool. help in my brother came to see me for a day and the very next day flights got cancelled and he ended up being with me for all 3 months of lockdown to 1/2 months of lockdown so small things that, that you know things. the universe yeah they are blessings they are countless blessings and you know you have food you have uh, great health and there's so much to be thankful about that i don't think i mean there are people who are who lost their jobs who need to be stressed but uh, i don't think anyone who is privileged and has the uh, yeah, you know has the shelter over their head and um should be feeling sad or depressed um i i really don't think so and guys for those of you watching and if rakul is doing a part time mba course don't be scared she's doing very good in bollywood she is not in <laughs> bollywood so don't freak out guys she's just hobby no no i was probably i just wanted to be so busy that i i, I chose that <laughs> i also felt that you know it's nice to know what's happening it's a crash course it's not like me doing a proper course but because i have gyms i've got three of my own gyms and now with the gyms being shut and oh. and um, with my rentals going and you know i have to retain my staff so i was like okay now you know this is the time that i can use to sort of brush up because i I've, i've never studied business uh so i thought All i should use and bombay All of them are in Bombay. No, no, no. Two are in Hyderabad and um, uh, one is in Vizag. Okay, you have like a 14 million followers. Right? It's not a joke. I mean, how do you? I mean, people must be spamming you, sending you messages. How do you keep up with them? Right? Anything which you do? Um, you sometimes go to comment, and a lot of people say, "No, ma'am, please wish me happy birthday." Do you actually do that? Sometimes I do. You know, uh, the thing is that I do, but uh, you can't read all the messages, obviously, because it gets too much. So. Uh, uh i do try to read as much as i can and i do reply or i like uh, the comments i know what people are liking what people don't like even what is coming on my youtube channel i read the comments because uh, in my last video there was a lot of request on skin care and that's why my last video was about skin care um and now there's been a lot about hair care so i'm planning to do the next on something like that um so yeah i i read Then I try to respond. I might not be personally able to respond, but to right. each and every message. But largely, I know what's happening. What are you really looking forward to when we resume the new normal? Like, what are you most shooting? Excited? Yeah, <laughs> I'm missing work. I haven't. This is the longest break of my life, uh, and I think for a lot of us, because um, ever since I started working, since I was 18, I don't think I've firstly stayed in one place for so long, and haven't worked. and also with actors it's not like you can act from home there were a lot of my friends who were working from home and they had work but if we don't if we are not shooting we're not shooting so i had no work um which is which is why i had to keep myself busy uh but i can't wait to get back on set so yeah. your biggest disaster in the kitchen oh uh, my biggest disaster was the first cake i baked which was uh, not sweet at all um because um uh, i you know like i had realized i was making a healthy cake for the first time in this lockdown um and and my hand somehow couldn't put even the amount of sugar that i was asking you i just couldn't i was like it bahut zyada hai i don't want to put that sugar so i was trying to be as uh, uh healthy as possible and it tasted so bad and i didn't have one two ingredients and i didn't want to add that extra maple syrup so i presumed that the bananas would add the sweetness so it was quite a disaster and then my brother he's like acha hai ice cream ke sath so 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 you know he he put some ice cream on it and had the cake and I was like that was a disaster but then i tried it for the second time and the third time and i nailed it uh thankfully as so, you yeah. wanted <laughs> so yes. any movie dialogue dialogue that you think completely sacrosanct with the present times dar ke aage ji yeah the last show you binge watched The last show I binge watched was Watchmen. A movie of yours which you are extremely proud of. I think you're proud of everything okay. that you've done even things that you don't like but I'd say that something that I'm that there are few that I'm very very close to my heart that are very close to my heart which would be my first film which is uh, uh, Venkatatri Express in Telugu um when that released before Yari Yari did so you know you sort of it sort of puts you on the map and that's your first brush with recognition 
um and then dete pyar de and all my films in the south also i can't really pick you know every project is so close to you like and even if it doesn't work it teaches you something sure. so yeah the next your next travel destination whenever we travel and where would you like to go the first time any beach like i'm a beach beach person and, and any beach like i i we plan to go to mekinos this year but that's obviously not going to happen so whenever things do open up a quick take away from the three lockdown period of course it it's been a big equalizer for all of us um i think globally so your minister uh, say, yeah for everyone you know it's an equalizer that the virus doesn't see where you come from which country you come from which caste race religion um it treats humans as humans and if a virus can do that so can humans i think i think that's something which i hope that people have learned i mean at least i understand that um uh, humanity uh, was tested and you know we all stood came together so i think these emotions and, and that basic is enough Uh, right we've all been surviving with basic and none of us had uh, your lavish demands and needs and what really gives you true happiness and joy is uh, is the wellness well being of your family um, and your near and dear ones that's exact that's only that matters um, everything else takes a, a back burner and i think i think on the whole a lockdown like this brings you close to reality at least for me i feel i was so happy every single day for the smallest joy that you have family next to you you have food being served on your table and there's so much to be grateful about so i think gratitude also it teaches guys how we did it was that the clothes lights and phone was delivered to her place it was kept for photos. let me tell first no. let me uh, let me let me say that actually please, please. <laughs> uh, firstly i said like, i said i can't do the shoot i panicked and then then megna said please try and and you know we can do work it out because i know that i'm not So some people are very good with hair and makeup. I'm not. Uh, I I I can't put two and two together. Trust But me. But then no. uh, the clothes were sourced. Yeah. So the, the clothes were sourced um, and kept with my stylist because we were supposed to shoot on what March 18th and then we didn't shoot. Uh, so those clothes came in and then they were there the first day and then I was like, okay, great. Now I need a light. Uh, and that came the second day and then I had to keep them for 24 hours outside my house because. I didn't want to bring it in, you know, because of the virus. Then I opened the clothes, I dried them outside for two days. I mean, just left them outside for two days, just so that whatever they get, they're clean. Then I realized they're huge clothes that need to be ironed, and I wasn't too sure if my help at home will be able to do that because they're expensive clothes. So I didn't want to risk it. So I ironed those myself. The first pair of clothes I have actually ironed these these big kind of clothes, you know. Yeah. So first time I very carefully ironed them. So it was a lot of hard work. Oh God! Really. <laughs> and That then, so then of course, thinking of and I was like, okay. And when we started shooting, I played some music, and uh, I told my friend, um, I said, "This Neha is her name," and I told her, I said, "Listen, uh, uh, let's let's feel like we're shooting, okay? So we put this small cooler so that it feels like a uh, uh, this air is blowing uh, right on your face. Uh, we've done all sorts of crazy." Uh, pep up music and then shooting and then using chairs to stand up and try and take a top angle shot. Uh, the house is a mess. I really uh, wanted to do a BTS shoot for that. I'm missing it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we, uh, if we had more help, we could have done a BTS. But we were just struggling with all of this, Thank so God. there was no way I could do a BTS. Correct. Even the gadget, then the, the new flip phone razor, I had to come deliver it. What condition? Can you show the re, re, uh, the people the gadget that we? Short the, the the phone yes so this is the phone guys and it's that's that's how cool you, it is did you, did you did you see the flip technology did you like the flip technology yeah 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 it's that yeah, cool it's it's very slick it goes in your pocket because with most of the phones what happens is that they're either too big that you can't slide it in your pocket or you know so this is that cool have you used a razor phone before it's like that flip phones only you know. Yes, I did actually back in school yeah. when that Moto Flip had come. I've used that phone. We all have it. Yes. Now this has come with a touch screen, so it's just a step ahead. Great. Yeah. What do you think yeah. about phone technology? You know, you have TVs, iPads, phones, everything today. Do you think this phone technology is good? Do you like to do you like to see your TVs holding up to your 
dimension. I think it'll be great, right? That uh, times are changing. The uh, property is getting more expensive. Land is getting more expensive. People are more, so less of space for them, uh, which is why you need to convert technology which can be compact. Like like this phone can be used with you know women, the the uh, bags, the small bags that we carry, the clutches. Your normal phone don't fit in it. Clutch. Yeah, they don't fit in it. So this can actually slide through your yoga pants and slide through your small pouch, and you know you could have it while you're walking or anywhere. So I think when entirely uh, technology becomes compact, people can use space better. Great, great, Ratulpreet. It was so nice to have you with us, and not many people will even take that initiative because you're very sporty enough to come forward and do it because it's a lot of risk, you know, without hair makeup, without a proper cameraman. Without the proper lights, unless until you have a confidence and you're doing an MBA, you don't get that confidence. No, 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 no. I just knew one thing. So the hair is going to be messy hair because I cannot need tighten them up, but that make them better, you know, like cleaner and neater. So we're going to just do messy hair. So I open my hair and then I back comb, back comb, and I was like, okay, mess. So even if it's all wrong, that's what it is. <laughs> Great. Thank you guys for watching this. You will see the link of our YouTube channel. Please. Uh, subscribe to the channel she's doing some great uh, stuff out there okay you yes, take you care can. you stay safe so nice to have you with us thank, thank you, you so same here stay safe